Hi, this is Shelley Sparks. This is the second of two videos where I talk about what we can do to bring good luck into the new year. This is going to be a little more in-depth look at uh, the physical things you can do, the emotional things you can do, and the spiritual things you can do to bring good luck into your new year. First of all, let's look at the physical. Well, um, a lot of this is about clearing out the old, uh, old things of your life. So some of it's easy. You can get started with your bills and your paperwork, converting things from 2015 to 2016. And, um, um, but the other things are more complicated because you're going to see when you look at different videos and different articles and blogs around the internet um, about clearing clutter. Now, a lot of people say those words but don't explain to you how you can evaluate the things around you to um, to see what clutter might be. So here's a good way to look at clutter. It's anything you don't use, anything you don't love, anything that creates bad feelings or bad memories, anything that you no longer have room for, and most importantly, anything that you don't, uh, that no longer represents who you are, or um, doesn't represent who you want to be. Now, let's look at what you can do um, emotionally. Now, this gets into the category of don't try, just do it. So, um, most people have issues they may be long, li uh, long lived issues. They might be lifelong issues about how you deal with particular difficulties in your life. So um, this is a time that you can examine that and think about the things that you have difficulties. Many of us have difficult patterns. Um, so first of all, you, you need to face your problem. So when you encounter a problem, you don't run from it. You try to face the problem bravely. For many of us, this is really difficult work to do. Secondly, you need to accept your problem. Sometimes I hear people say, this can't be happening to me. That is um, the... Uh, not being able to acknowledge the problem, not being able to uh, acknowledge that it's happening to you. The third thing you need to do is handle your problem. So you want to use softness to subdue hardness. You go with the flow of your adversity and direct your problem onto the right course. So it's really um, taking the energy and reusing it to flow with you, not against you. And finally, the most important thing is to let it go. So once you've dealt with it, you want to leave it behind and keep it behind you. I have friends that, um, that talk about letting go of problems and yet they keep picking them up again once they've dealt with them. This is really hard work to do, but once you do it, it can be extremely valuable. In my next, if, next video, I'm going to talk about the spiritual part of welcoming in the new year. This is Shelley Sparks. If you'd like more information about feng shui or um, energy, check out my website, www.harmonygardens.net. Thanks for listening.